So I'm gonna give you the fundamentals to work with Sparks. First thing I'm gonna do is come to the world settings, make it a little black. Let's delete the default cube, shift A, add in a plane. I'm just gonna expand that out. Come over into the physics settings and turn on collision there. I will introduce a little bit of dampening so that when the particles kind of hit, they kind of stay. Even the stickiness we can bring up to maybe 0.2, have a play. From here, shift A, let's add in, I don't know, a sphere. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Shift A, let's add in our spark. And I'm gonna make this our spark. I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode and scale to maybe 0.2, just to make it a little bit smaller. Let's now select our emitter. So this is gonna be emitting our particles. Let's go into the particle settings. I'm gonna create a new particle system. I'm gonna bump up the number of particles to 10,000. Um, frame, start and end. I'm just gonna make 150 and the lifetime, I'm gonna to set to 30. Once again, play around with your settings here. Changing the timeline. And if we kind of press play, we can see we've got a whole bunch of particles and they're kind of bouncing like that. Sick. We can come into velocity. I might just go four, just to give it a little bit of oomph as they leave. Let's bring this thing down a bit more just so we've kind of got more bounces and so on and so forth. One thing we'll change here in the velocity as well is some randomness. So they're not so uniform. Um, and we'll give a lifetime randomness. Let's increase that as well. So if we go back to the start, we can see now that we have a wide variety of particles going everywhere. Now let's come down into the render settings. Halo, render as, we're gonna to change to an object. Let's select our instance and it'll be our icosphere. And so now if we have a look, we can see we've got all our little particles coming through. Let's jump over to rendered mode. Now, the system I'm gonna show you doesn't work in Eevee. It needs to be in cycles. Let's go over to GPU and we'll press 32 on there. With a bit of a denoise, why not? I am going to delete this light just so we can get maximum out of the icosphere. Let's now go into shading and I am going to press new and let's create our material. Now the node that we're gonna be using, I'm gonna go shift A to search. I'm gonna use the particle information node. Now this node doesn't work in Eevee, so that's why we're using cycles. From here, I'm going to add in a math node and we're gonna set add to divide. And we're gonna get the lifetime, which is our number 30, which we set up before and the age of the particle. From here, we're gonna go into a color ramp and we'll explain all this out in a sec. I'm gonna drop it into here. I'm gonna make the first color that it spawns as a bright yellow. Second color, I'm gonna make maybe an orange color and then I'm gonna press the plus sign and this last color is gonna be a black. But the thing we're gonna do with this one, just move it off the edge, is I'm going to turn down the alpha as well. What this allows us to do is set our lifetime or the age of the particle to a value of zero to one. So for instance, if the age of the particle is one and the lifetime of the particle is let's say 30, that is calculator, one divided by 30, 0.33333. So we can see it's gonna be come out as bright yellow. So let's plug in the color into the emission. Let's plug in the alpha into the alpha and the emission. Maybe let's bump this up to 30. And there we have it. We've got bright yellow into a bright orange. If we really wanted to, we could add something a little bit else. Let's add in a flat black in here. And so as these particles start to die off, they will hopefully go into a black and then fade off into oblivion. So rather than just like disappearing, they're gonna just fade off, which is exactly what we want. So without doing anything else, I'm just gonna quickly render this out. What I am gonna do with that sphere is I'm just gonna make it transparent. Let's just bring it all the way down. Um, and with the particle system, let's quickly bake it out. So we'll come over into cache and the particle settings and le bake. So with that, I think it's a little bit too bright. So I reduced the emission strength down to five and I moved this black over closer to the alpha. And then with that, we'll do some cool stuff. Now with this setup here, I just have an emitter 
and we've got kind of like all the particles going across the ground but here we've created this Doctor Strange style. Obviously, you can put more work into it. However, if you try this, you'll notice that there is a perfect circle in here. Aha! What there actually is, is there is a cylinder in here that I've put a collision uh, physics on. However, I've hidden it from the scene and the render, hence why you get this jazz.